Are you sure it'll be safe here? Safer here than at my house. There's no one there to protect it. Why are you even trying to keep it? It's a nut job. I say just give him the bat and let him leave us alone. You don't get it. This bat isn't normal. If he gets his hands on it, he'll wreck stuff up. And no one will be able to stop him. What's he even gonna do anyway? You really want to find out? Uh, no, not really. Let's just hope that he doesn't find out where I go to school. Yeah, I really don't want to meet him again. Oh, these poor, naive boys! If only they knew that my eyes are everywhere! <laughs> One, two, one, two. Oh, hello there. You caught me in the middle of my quarterly workout. Gotta keep my svelte sexy bod in shape, you know. Today especially, for in this tale, I will recount the day when I stormed Little Willie's school in pursuit of his bat, the old basher. Willie was wise not to leave it in his house, but quite foolish to think that there was any place on earth where he could hide it from Rudolph Robkarnikov! <laughs> Onward. Willie's day had progressed as normal in some ways. During the afternoon, though, there was a special assembly about someone that no one ultimately cares about. That left the halls very empty, and our poor hero all alone. Just the way I like them! <laughs> Someone there? <laughs> Whoever's doing that, this isn't funny. Come on out! Oh, there's no need to be nervous around what? me, you? young man! How did you... The school has electrical locks! How did you get in here? By kidnapping and tying up one of the other students and using his ID. How else would I have done it? That's... Carlos's ID. What did you do with him? You mean your fat friend from the other day? Huh, I thought he looked familiar. I stuffed him in an air vent somewhere, I don't remember. Anyway, I'll be taking that back from you now. I... I don't have it. it it's not here. You don't have it? Then that means you have nothing to protect you from this! Yeah! Don't run, boy! The fun's just getting started! <laughs> yep, that was my shin. <laughs> oh? The science lab? I never took you for the intellectual type. Now, where could you be? Which of these little desky thingamaboobs are you hiding behind? How about this one? <laughs> oh, I heard that! I found you! <laughs> gotcha, you little... Wait, where'd you go? You were just here, I know it! Oh, you clever. You see, he had somehow managed to slip by me while I was preparing to strike. However, I knew immediately where he would go next. He was helpless without the all basher. <laughs> Come on. Open, you stupid- Anybody home? Get! I know you're in here, Willie. And guess what? I have enough gas in this thing to carve out several of your more important organs! What? Empty? Already? Oh, I knew I should have switched to the electric saw. Now let's see, what can I horribly mangle you with? He's distracted. Oh, uh, there you are! And looky here! This is my third favorite flamethrower! Sure, it's a wee bit of overkill, but that never killed anybody! Except you! <laughs> what? A fire extinguisher? That's no fair! Fine! How about this? Oh, why, Mr. Lecter, how nice of you to visit. Oh. Come on, please open! 
Yes! Just kidding! I'll kill you in a second, but first things first, the All Basher! I was so close. I was so sure. I was so confident. I was so blind as to the length that boy would go to keep me away from what was mine! <laughs> that little monster tackled me to the ground! He would have gouged my eyes out if I hadn't been such an expert in the art of persuasion! Get off me, you little brat, or I'll murder you harder! That seemed to be the trick, because he hopped off me soon after, but he grabbed the bat out of his locker and tried running off with it! Don't you dare! Let go of me! No! Stop it! He began kicking me in the face over and over, but I wouldn't let go. Not when I was so close to taking what I'd been after. I have had enough of you! The feeling's mutual, kid! What's going on in here? That's when a witness stepped in. No doubt attracted to the ruckus we were raising. It was also this time when that stupid boy decided it would be a good idea to swing the old basher! What? No. Ah! The impact blew me away, and the noise almost blew out my eardrums. The entire locker room was in ruins just from the one swing. Willie had no idea what kind of force he was dealing with, and I had to be the one to suffer for it. I managed to make my escape, but he got away with the bat! Again! Oh... Just thinking about that day makes my body hurt all over again. But I made a solemn vow never to underestimate that boy again. If I was going to beat him, I would have to pull out all the stops and break out the very best in my arsenal. The sorts of tools that would make me a chainsaws and flamethrowers look like children's toys. Tune in next time to learn what I still have in these bottomless pockets of mine. <laughs> Just you wait, Willy White. Next time will be your undoing! I need more. Let's see. Bat? Check. Shield? Also check. Tool kit for bike. Check. Stupid Rob. Something or other. This is all his fault. Next time we meet, I'll be ready. This series is dedicated to Stefan Carl Stephenson. You will always be number one. Also, be sure to follow me on my Twitter account to stay up to date with all things Fighting Leaf, Conan Bell, and Willie White. All links are in the description.